Hi, in this episode I'm going to be passing on whatever knowledge I have about the difference between a jacket and a wing style BCD. If you get this right, not only will you be completely happy with what you've purchased, but you might not have to spend a fortune on three or four to get in you there, and you'll be the envy of all your mates because you've got the best one that you could get. Hi, I'm Andy the Northern Diver and welcome to another video in this series of scuba diving tutorials. If this is your first visit here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. That way, you'll be able to see all the other content we've posted and learn loads more about scuba diving. And while you're there, if you can click the bell icon, that'll give you a notification every time we post a new video so you don't miss out. And make sure you stick around to the end where I'll be giving you my top tips. Right, so we've come outside. Right, it's a nice warm winter's day. It's not raining for a change. As you can probably see behind me, I've got three different setups which we'll go through and discuss and see which ones are best. So we've got the jacket style BCD, the back plate wing and harness for a single cylinder, and the same back plate and harness set up on a twin set wing. So looking at the jacket style BCD, you see there's some nice great big pockets on the side, big zips. You've got a means of attaching weight pockets in there that can be removed should they be should you need to detach them during the dive. Okay, you've got an inflator and deflating hose. So you pull that and the air will stream out the top. You sort of typical inflate and deflate buttons. Pinch clips across the waist across the chest and across the shoulders with D, big D-rings to pull down so there's lots of adjustability another dump over the shoulder and D-rings in which to attach certain parts to so you can see there's one down here and one up here this will allow you to add an additional second cylinder should you need to coming around the opposite side then as you can see we've got weight trim pockets a kidney dump another big pocket problem with these pockets I find is when it's inflated it's really hard to get in and out you can open the zip relatively easily but actually getting what's in the pocket out I find quite hard once this is inflated so certainly on the surface should you need access to what's in there it's quite hard to get in and out looking around the back then we've got this sort of ratchet style cam band I've seen these come undone as this mechanism sort of fails a little bit where this will ride up to above the neck of the cylinder and if this is the only point of attachment on the top here we've got a little sort of buckle strap being the only means of what's holding the, the tank on so this picture clearly shows what can happen if your cam band fails whilst using an aluminium cylinder the top of the BCD then it has this handle to help you carry it alongside the, the top of the cylinder handle so very much the common style of BCD worn by certainly new divers or recreational divers. So this is my preferred style which is called a wing setup. So it comes in three parts, you've got the back plate, commonly made of stainless steel, aluminium or carbon fibre. You've got a one piece adjustable harness. So all your, all your bits and pieces are carried on there whether it be a normal knife, some cutting tools, you've got your your D-rings for all, all your sort of different parts and placements. You've got a torch carrier, a buckle and a, and a crotch strap. Then the second part is this wing. This is for a single cylinder. We've got a dump valve on the bottom and then your normal corrugated um, flexible inflate deflate hose with the K-style valve that can be removed but this rubber bar this rubber band keeps it nicely in place okay moving around the back then we have what's known as a single tank adapter so that's a plate that's mounted and bolted through inside there with two different cam bands okay those cam bands are, are really hard to come loose they, they really get a good grip got velcro on there to hold them in place so if one was to fail, the second one will take up the slack, if you will. So 
means of, of putting integrated weights you can see we've got a 2.6 kilo lead what's called a P or a plate weight so that's mounted down the spine gives a really good center of gravity it's all centralized rather than being around your sides I have to dive this wing um, with an extra two kilos on a weight belt but the plate itself weighs two as I said this is 2.6 so a further two in a dry suit gives me six and a half kilos plus my torch is probably about seven that's about right this is a twin wing so you know the same material it's exactly the same back plate and harness short of it being my wife's notice the pink H's rather than the blue two points of contact where it's fastened through so it sandwiches in the wing just a much larger wing okay so it's got all the same accompaniments knives cutting tools d-rings certain places to shackle bits of kit up to but if I was to turn it round you can see I've deflated it there's no single plate adapter within there so the twinning bands of the twin set are bolted together and bolt straight through which sandwiches the wing and as you can see the wings big enough to encompass the the, the cylinders it's got the same inflate hose so which makes if we go back round here now go back to this wing which is basically a quick addition so you just although it's quite expensive for an, a, a larger wing we can just change that straight out and go straight on from one setup to another quite easily and quickly and these are certainly a more technical divers style of harness and wing setup so you can certainly put multiple cylinders on either side should you need to so my top tip on your scuba diving bcd wing would be get whichever one you want don't listen to everybody else they've all got their own point of view try one on take it for a dive if you like it buy it if you don't sell it so if you've got any questions or comments about any of the things you've seen in this video leave a comment below and I'll make sure I get back to you and I'll give you a thumbs up. So make sure you watch the rest of this series and in order to do so, I've left a link just up here so you can't miss out and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See you on Insta.